Hey there, this is Patrina Reddick from People Involved in Motivating Our Students Higher. I'm here waving my red, white, and blue flag, and it is this particular flag. It's not just your regular flag. This is a second inauguration of American president. There's only, I mean, you know, you gotta be up the top somewhere to get one of these. So, um, yeah, this is the inaugural flag from 2013. But I'm waving it today because I'm here, not only waving the flag, but I'm fighting the power that be, thus my natural flow today. So let me know if you like that. But anyway, I have my Pima shirt on, my fro, and my flag. So you know I'm real serious. And today I'm talking to you about um, education and I want to first welcome you to Academics 2016-17 and I don't know if you're ready but you better get ready because there are some changes coming down the pike and parents, teachers, administrators, whoever has the priv privilege of listening to my voice right now, please pay attention to the fact that Hillary nor Donald Trump have an academic or educational agenda because President Obama had already put one in place. They can't touch it for a few years, so they're not even talking about education. But at least, at the very least, we have to vote. So at the very, very least, we have to know what kind of questions to ask them about education because they have to either work with Obama at Obama's administration. There has to be some kind of way that they all work together to get this done. And we need some change. We are graduating high schoolers who cannot read. We have 10th, 11th graders who can't fill out an application, can't take simple direction. And it's really, really sad. So. Um, I want you to understand that it is up to you to figure out the information. Donald Trump nor Hillary Clinton is going to take a stand on education right now. There's no reason for them to do so. And one of the best things I can say about President Obama, I have a lot of things I can say about President Barack Obama, but um, one of the things that I can say is that as a leader, as um, someone in charge, he has been able to put things in order in a way that's easy for you to understand. So you could actually go to whitehouse.gov and right there, it's right on the website where you go and you can learn all about all of his um, um, acts and legislature laws that he's put into place, every place everything that you wanna know about his there. The saddest part, the, the hardest thing to tell you is that what's gonna happen when he leaves if they dare tear down this infrastructure. We we call ourselves United States, but the states are all their own little countries. It is. Well, um, again, you can go to www.whitehouse.gov and you can learn all about the new um, education reform for early learning for K through 12 and even for college. And if you don't have time, like a lot, lots of people don't, you can download my white paper because I've read through it in our students higher. Uh, we have students who come to us and they can't read and some of them just don't even want to. So we have to start early and President Obama absolutely understands that we need to start early. So here I am again with my Pima shirt on, waving my flag, fight the power that be and get some information either go do your own research and you're welcome to do that or i've saved you a little bit of time just go download my white pipe paper right now it's free it doesn't cost you anything.